Okay. So I've, again, we're at step six in cell C15. We've come over to data validation in the data tab over here. I've selected data validation. I've gotten my pop-up. I'm going to select allow a list. I'm going to leave ignore blank and in cell, in, in cell dropdown checked. I'm going to tell it what my source is. My source is these two cells right here. So I've selected both of them. Okay. And now I'm going to click input message. Okay. All right, error alert. Great. Okay. I'm going to select okay. So now I've got a little drop down right here that says either overnight or standard. Okay. Or it can be blank. All right. So my next step is select overnight in cell C15. All right. In cell F20. Okay. We're going to enter an if condition. So if open parentheses. Cell E20 is greater than zero. Return E20, return the contents of E20 times, so quantity times price. Otherwise, return nothing. And to return nothing, I'm just going to put two quotation marks there. All right. I'm going to copy this to the rest of them by coming to where I have the little plus arrow and double clicking. It'll drop it all the way down for me. Okay. Autofill this formula. Just did that. In cell F27, we're going to sum this range, which is F20 to F25. Okay. The discount is also going to be conditional. So if F27 is greater than 200, return the value in F27 multiplied by the discount percentage in cell F12. Otherwise, return zero. Okay. All right. After discount is the difference between my subtotal and whatever I may be giving as a discount. Okay. All right. And sell. F31, we're going to calculate the sales tax by multiplying the after tax, the after discount value in cell F29 by the state, the sales tax percentage 0 0.05. So this is equals 29 times 0.05%. Okay. And then the shipping in cell G22, G32 is going to be equal to whatever we have displayed in cell C15. All right, in cell F34, we're going to calculate the total of after discount value, the tax, and the shipping fee. So equal after discount value plus the sales tax. Yeah, plus this, and we're going to get an error because I did something wrong. Okay, we're going to go back up to the one before. Okay, Jesus. In cell three, it displayed the value of C15. Ah, I need an if condition. So equals okay. if C15 equals standard, so if this cell 
equals quotation mark standard. And I'm putting in the quotation mark just so it, it knows that this is a piece of text. Okay. Then return the value in F9. If it's not standard that is in that cell, give me overnight. Now this works because I only have two options. Okay, there we go. So now if I were to change this here, you'll notice that my price changes, my shipping changes. Okay, so I go from 213 to 220 just by clicking this one drop down box. Okay. In cell C32, this is where I want to do equal C15, and now I know right there what it is. Okay. In cell F30, uh, F34, calculate the total after tax. That again was my after tax plus my sales tax plus my shipping. That's my, my total cost. All right. So now I'm going to reduce the quantity of mountain rockets from two to one. Oh. And I've I've lost the discount here. So I'm going to undo that real quick. So by changing this to one, I went from a total price of 227 and an after discount of 199 to an after discount of 152 and a total price of 171. I'm going to change the shipping option from overnight to standard. All right, 164. Okay. So that is the the final part of this assignment. Go ahead and save it and submit.